Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I've got a really cool and groovy craft project that you might like to do for Valentine's Day. Instead of giving a card or flowers that last for just a few like days, why don't you do some crafts and some artwork. I really love this project. What I've got here is, and I'm into recycling at the moment, this canvas frame, I've just painted it with two coats of uh, gesso paint. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's got a little bit of grit in it. And the reason I've also used the black is because I'm going to be using black and red buttons. So it's just a matter of using a white pencil once that's all dry, and I use two coats. I'm going to put on here, I love you or you could put whatever message you wanted onto that then I've got some Mod Podge glue and I'm just going to put that along on top of that and then using a sato stick what I've done here is I put a little bit of beeswax onto the end of that to get this nice little wee bobbly bit and then it's just a matter of lifting and it doesn't need to be even and well you don't have to be perfect about this and then just follow that line down there with your single buttons. Now, the experts say to work in a corner and work your way across. I like to do whatever my contrasting or my loud, I call it the loud color because it's the red. You do that first and then I let that dry. And then it's just a matter of once that's done, working from the top like so and then just putting in your black buttons or whatever buttons you want. So, and then this is sort of like a little bit of a fiddly way of doing, well, it is quite fiddly, but because you just got to kind of sort of like manipulate and get all the little buttons in amongst all the lettering and to cover the canvas. So you just keep going until it is finished. And here is one that I've done. Whoops. I meant to have put those on. So anyway, it's just a matter of once you've done that, just going in there, as I said, and then continuing until your whole surface has been covered with the little buttons. How's that? So that, as I said, this is where the fiddly bit starts when you've got to get all those little bits in. And I like to keep them. And it doesn't matter if they're not all perfect. Nothing in life's perfect, so why should you worry? But I just thought that that was a really great way of utilising buttons. I love the texture, I love the shine of it. And the other thing is don't be worried about the Mod Podge um, being white because it will dry out. And then once you've done that, if you wanted to, you could just spray it with a couple of coats of spray varnish to further seal it. Hope you like that. I really love this idea. Oops, they're all falling off now. Hey, thanks for calling and I'll see you another day.